Welcome back everyone. Late night upload, but Android 11 Beta 1 actually came out and this is actually the oldest device that supports this Android version and I do these update videos so much on iOS that it's not fair that I don't do it on my Pixel devices too. So this is the Pixel 2 and I've been running this Android 11 Beta since I think the first day that it came out, which was a couple months ago and even in those videos you can hear me talking about it and honestly this beta really hasn't been that bad even since the beginning of the updates and now, I just really like the features that it brought. But I think Android 11 is very important in a sense that it's not a whole refresh and I wish it was because, you know, it's kind of overdue to be honest. But I think that the support that devices could eventually get in the future, I think Android 11 could come to a full range of devices and I think manufacturers like LG and Samsung and all these other phones, they can actually expand their lineup because it's not that big of an update. And if a phone like a Pixel 2, which really doesn't have the greatest specs, it didn't even have the best specs at the time. I mean, if you look at it, it really doesn't look that great. I mean, it looks pretty outdated. It has pretty big bezels on it. But if a phone like this is still able to get this specific version of Android, I really don't see why a phone like a Galaxy S8 in the future couldn't get Android 11 or even a phone like a Galaxy S9 that's technically the last version getting Android 10 right now from a phone and I feel like if the Pixel 2 like I said can do it that came out in 2017 a lot of other phones that came out in 2017 including the Galaxy S8 could easily support this version of software so that was a long-winded intro what I can tell you about the software is I think it's actually pretty good so far and it's been extremely stable since the first version that I installed into it which was developer beta 1 to the full beta 1 that's publicly available I really haven't had too many issues with it now there were some issues early on, I'm not going to lie, that were pretty small. Things like a little bit of glitchiness, so if I were, so if I were to go into the multitasking pen, just like how you saw, usually, I, you know, on Android 10, I could get into it just by kind of sliding up and going there. Sometimes it's hit or miss when I do it now, so I feel like that's going to be fixed with a future version of Android. Again, don't call me on it, but I feel like that could happen at some point. Also, some things, if I swipe down to the status bar and I swipe down again, sometimes I do see some glitchiness, but these are all UI things. These will get fixed with the next versions of Android especially with beta 2, beta 3, you know, these things happen, so it's totally okay. But I think overall, to be completely honest, this software is, you know, way better than my expectations. Now, for some reason, the display is being extremely, extremely weird. Now, whenever I was messing with this thing and I was sliding through and I was even doing a bunch of speed tests and everything from one version to the other, I really couldn't find too many issues. Every time I loaded into an app, anytime I did it with anything with it, it was extremely smooth. And even with Android 10, it looks a little bit smoother, as you can see when I hop out. And one really weird thing they did with Android 11 was bring this new little bar down here so you can screenshot this specific app if you want to. You can select different things, you can share this app. But they did kill the kill all button, which I find really weird and kind of hypocritical in a way because it's, it's like a kill all button and they killed that. <laughs> there might be ways to bring it back in the settings I haven't really looked that far. Now the update size on this specific Pixel 2 coming from Android 10 was about 1.3 to 1.6 gigabytes, so it wasn't like an insanely huge update to keep in mind on my Pixel 3a. And that was from Android 10 to developer beta 1. Right now on my Pixel 3a, going from the Android 10 latest version to the full beta was about 1.6 gig. So it's going to be around that size on the Pixel 2 as well. So as long as you have that much saved, you'll be set. And I'm sure if you have a Pixel, you're utilizing your Google Photos and Google Drive and all those different things. So I'm sure you'll have that space on your phone too. So battery life has been, I guess, more or less the same. I haven't really been using this phone a crazy amount on battery life alone. So keep that in mind. But I will say, I mean, it's been having a weird charging issue. I don't know if it's associated with Android 11 Beta 1. I'll have to look into it, but I don't think it is. Maybe, like I said, I haven't been using this phone a lot, so maybe I bought this phone and had that issue and I just now found out. But I will get you guys an update sooner than later. And yeah, that's really pretty much it. If you want to know the top five features of Android 11 and all that stuff, I'll leave my link to that in the description below so you can check it out from there. But that's really pretty much it, guys. If you have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section as well. Hit the like button on me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So it means so much for you guys to hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my second channel. All those things are linked down below. I really appreciate it if you guys to check it out. Look at my toe that's right here. But more importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.